706 this morning. All new members of the LGBTQ community will meet with Jacksonville sheriffs tonight to discuss safety concerns. In the past six months, there have been four attacks on transgender women. Three of them died. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding joining us live this morning. You know, Ashley, you spoke with one advocate. What does he hope to hear from the sheriff? And they have been pushing for this for some time, so this has to be a win for them. Absolutely. They are definitely looking forward to this to that discussion tonight. And while the attacks on these women will likely be a big part of this discussion, there are many issues that are going to be on the table, including sensitivity. JSO has already recognized that by creating a task force. The recent attacks on transgender women have shaken the LGBT community and spread fear. So the big message that I'm hearing from folks in the community, especially transgender women of color, is that they are afraid to go outside. That's why Jimmy Midyet and other advocates are meeting Sheriff Mike Williams tonight. He says the sheriff has already told members of the LGBT community that it is safe to go out, but to be careful. So he wants to hear about issues beyond safety. Is JSO responding responsibly? or with sensitivity to the community. And I think they're trying to, but there is a bit of a communication problem. To address those concerns, the sheriff has announced the creation of an LGBT liaison team within JSO. This team will work directly with people in that community. Midiette says the concept of misgendering victims in police reports is one of the issues he wants to talk about. And it's hurtful to the folks who know the individuals who are murdered that sort of re-victimizes re in some ways the victim. Midiette says in the end, this is about all signs coming to an understanding together. And in addition to forming the LGBT liaison team, the sheriff's office is also considering adding new training programs for that agency. Now, if you want to go to the meeting tonight, it is open to the public. It's happening at 7 o'clock at the FSCJ downtown auditorium. All this information is on newsforjax.com. We're live this morning. Ashley Harding, Channel 4, the local station.